Yes! 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 That was awesome. We all sat through. We all watched the ending to Monday Night Raw. We all saw what was a pretty dreadful, hard-to-get-through, go-home show. They didn't want anything big. They didn't want anything groundbreaking. They knew that basically they got us on the hook. They got all of our $10. We're all going to be watching on the network. We're all going to be there live. However you were watching the show, you got to be fired up. Even though we had to sit through two and a half hours of crap, we got... Daniel Bryan versus... I'm sorry. I'm all fired up. I screwed up the last video I made. And I screwed up the video now. Load the jet up, baby. Get the bags. I wish they were next to me. I'd put them right here. We can get on the jet right now. We're all going to New Orleans. We're all drinking on Bourbon Street. We're all going to go see some ladder wars at ROH. We're going to give Hulk Hogan some high fives. If you're not pumped up for WrestleMania right now, I mean, like, I'm feeling it right now. I am fired up. <laughs> I, I, I'm not in one of those laughing hysterical modes that I was in for WrestleMania 28 when they named the damn Hell in the Cell and I was telling Paz to cut his thumb off. Fuck it, Paz. Cut your thumb off. We'll all go see Daniel Bryan win the championship here. But it all came down to it at the end of the night. We saw Randy Orton going up against Batista. This was plugged as the free WrestleMania main event. We didn't get to see it basically um, because... Uh, they added uh, the, the stipulation of Daniel Bryan or Triple H going into this match. So they gave it to us for free on Monday Night Raw. But what do you know? You had the authority down there at ringside trying to make sure that, you know, they were the spotlight of this whole thing. Even though you had uh, Randy Orton in there with Batista, Triple H wanted to get his shine. And Daniel Bryan, the man. In my hype up video that I put you today, I told you that was the way I wanted to see Monday Night Raw end, which is a couple of knees. Boom! Boom! We got to see it. He jumped in and he was putting the pounding on Triple H right there on top of the announce table. This was some of the best stuff in the game that I've ever seen. I mean, like, he and Triple H battled around. He fought Triple H through the ring. He got him into the ring and then he, he, he was in the land of the Giants. He had Orton in there and Batista and out of the middle of nowhere. Boom! Knee plus. I wish I'm going to back up a little bit. Boom! I'll get you the knee and the camera right there. But uh, the knee to Batista, he was out. He fought Triple H around the ring. He found one of those kendo sticks that just happened to be laying around. You know, like, uh, uh, because he's the guy who's, you know, just uses the kendo sticks now. Sam Man might have much apologies. Every time he must hit somebody, Daniel Bryan must have to mail him one, uh, one dollar in the mail. And uh, he can go out and buy himself a six-pack tonight. But... Boom! This is what it's all about. I mean, now you have to go through the whole grinding process of everybody saying like, well, Daniel Bryan got the big shine at the end of Monday Night Raw. You know what that means? He's not going to get the win at Mania because they're never going to give it to him. But that yes movement, mmm, bananas. I wore this shirt today because basically this is the shirt that Daniel Bryan was wearing at WrestleMania 28 when the yes movement to me really did get started. We rode through this whole ride of him, you know, losing in uh, however many seconds it was, was the Sheamus, and then him climbing back up the card. I honestly thought after that he might get his rematch at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Actually, in my mind, I don't even think he got the rematch. Wasn't it Sheamus versus Del Rio? And uh, I don't even remember where Daniel Bryan went from there, but I know that it might have took a month, but he was fighting uh, CM Punk for the WWE title. Um, you know, it couldn't have been Extreme Rules because uh, Jericho got the rematch. But it wasn't that long before Laronitis put him in that spot. And it was Daniel Bryan uh, jumping over from SmackDown to Raw. One of the first guys to really break down the barrier between each ones. But, oh, oh, I wish it was right now. I wish we could get the bags. Hold on. There. Oh, boom. Luggage bag. Carry-on bag. I can't pack my computer yet because it's sitting right there. But boom. If you're ready to go, <laughs> let me know. I mean, boom. I'm sitting here. Come on, Southwest. Come get me, baby. Let's. let's I'm fired up, baby. He took, he took a shot at Orton. Boom. Sent Orton down and just... Yes. 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 You got to take it to this. High five, give me, bam, high five right there. Are you fired up? I'm fired up. Let's get this done. Boom, feel the Hulkamaniac power. Oh, awesome. 